G'day folks. I wanted to send a message to uh, people who were protesting, for want of a better term, uh, in Canada, Australia, New Zealand and elsewhere around the world. Uh, I've seen a lot of video footage of what they're doing and I think they are making one very grave potential error. And that is in the nature of the flags they're flying. So everyone has said that these protests need to be peaceful and all they want to do is speak with the other side. Okay, well if that's the case, you don't want to fly the Canadian Maple Leaf, you don't want to fly the Australian Blue Ensign or the Red Ensign or the Eureka flag, and you don't want to fly the New Zealand national flag. If you're a peaceful protest, and if you want parlay, and if you want to put those who are opposing you in a position of committing a war crime, if they should take violent action against you, then there is only one flag to be flying. And that's the white flag. The white flag is the flag of peace, it is the flag of truce, and it is the flag of parlay. And to attack someone who's flying, who's, who marches under a white flag is a war crime. So if anyone out there sees this and has the ability to get in touch with people who are organising these protests, what they need to do is tell all those people who are there to get rid of all their national flags, all their alternative flags, and to tie one thing only to the flag, flag poles they're carrying. And that is a white flag if you've got it, but anything white will do. Just fly the white flag. It has the potential to protect you from violence because it creates a legal paradigm for those who would like to perhaps take uh, more violent action against protesters. So if you want to parlay, you need a white flag. If you want to tell the whole world that you're there for peaceful purposes, you need the white flag. This is, this is very important. I can't stress how important this is. And it has the potential to protect you from violence because it will place those who would like to start something violent in, in a dilemma, in a bind. It is a war crime to attack someone under, who un, comes under a white flag. Anyway, hopefully someone out there will see this and pass it on to people who uh, know the people, who know the people, who know the people, who, are, who can make an announcement at some of these protests and let the people know that there's only one flag they should be flying and that's the white flag. It's not the flag of surrender, it's the flag of peace and the flag of truce, the flag of non-violence, the flag of parley. If, as far as I can tell, all the protests in every country say they want to be peaceful and all they want to do is speak with the other side. Great. The perfect flag for doing that, that you should be marching under, is the white flag. So, if you can, please pass this on. Okay, see you folks. Uh, just as an addendum, folks, when you're under a white flag, you do not want to be violent in any way, shape or form, because then you commit a war crime. And you do not want to allow anyone who is violent to stand under your white flag. So what you need to do if someone's getting violent is to make it clear to everyone around you that they are not with you. Should that happen? Because the one concern I have is that uh, governments seed the crowd with uh, rebel rousers to try and incite something. You do not want to associate with those people and you want to make it clear if they start to look like they're starting something or if they do start something, you want to make clear that you do not stand with them and they do not stand with you. So be clear, under a white flag, you need to be peaceful. You can't just use it to force the other side to treat you peacefully. You must also be peaceful.